because it's still, as you can see here, just a vector drawing. Hello, it's Magin Panic here. I'm gonna quickly show you how to vectorize drawings using Photoshop and importing them into Toon Boom. Sometimes it will be helpful. For the most of the time I was using uh, Adobe Animate for that, but for a long time I don't have it on my computer, so uh, that thing like wasn't good for me uh, and I was searching for new technique to do that and I recently discovered how to vectorize drawings using Photoshop and I want to share it with you and we're gonna upload that vectorized image into Toon Boom and we will see how it looks. Okay, so what do I have here on my Photoshop file? It's my logo that I have on my t-shirt. As you can see, it's on one layer, black and white. If you will have more colors, you can try do it on multiple colors. You can, uh, because we will be exporting one vector image, which will be one color. Uh, I guess there is a way to do it on multiple colors. Uh, so maybe I will make a follow-up video for this one. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, what we are going to do, we're going to use a select color range and we're gonna select the range of colors that we want to. For me, it's a white color, okay? And the selection is pretty decent, I like it. I'm gonna press a rectangular tool that's called Marquee, okay? And we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna select make work path, okay? I'm clicking it and I'm gonna set the tolerance on one. I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm gonna change the tool to direct selection tool. I'm gonna right click on everything and I'm gonna create vector mask. What that will uh, gonna do, it will create that vector mask that we will be later able to modify as a vector drawings. And this vector drawing, we can actually export from Photoshop and import to Toon Boom. And here is how. I'm gonna hit file and save us. I'm gonna save it somewhere on my computer and I'm gonna save it as PDF file. I just need to search for it, where it is, PDF file, I'm gonna save it, okay? I'm gonna replace it and that's how it is, nothing will change, just save PDF. Okay, now I'm gonna open Toon Boom and I'm gonna uh, open my library window, okay? I'm gonna right click on the Harmony Premium library to click it to write to modify, okay? Because it's have that lock and that will enable us to import anything. Write to modify and I'm gonna right click on this uh, black empty space. I'm gonna import file. I'm gonna select the image that I had untitled, whatever. And this image will appear on my library. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just drag and drop it into my camera view. It will ask us for the color because it's not the color that we uh, had. It will assign any color from our scene or whatever. Uh, but what we are going to have right now is this pretty clean, uh, pretty cool vector, uh, vector drawings. It is actually that, that mask that we had underneath our color but what we are going to do, because it's still, as you can see here, just a vector drawing, we can pick any color from our, as you can see, it imported it as a texture, okay? That's what I wanted to say. Let's create a red color and let's just repaint it into red. 
what's gonna happen now? We will no longer have that texture underneath, but entire red feel around the character. And this is how you can vectorize your drawings using Photoshop and import them into Toon Boom. I hope it helps. It helps me a lot because sometimes I, I really have to vectorize something and drawing it, redrawing takes so much time. So with this little technique, because I'm using Photoshop every single day uh, along with Premiere Pro, uh, it's really, really helpful. Uh, if this gives you any idea and you can use any other software that you can export PDF vectorized uh, and import it to Toon Boom, that will help as well. With that being said, thank you for watching my video. Uh, check my Instagram, click subscribe, like this video, share it because it's a hot topic, I guess. And well, have a sick day. <laughs> See you around. Cheers.